Creating schedules in Revit works pretty much the same way as creating a new drawing list. Um, to start a new schedule, go to the View drop-down menu at the top of the screen. Choose View, go to New, and down to Schedule. Uh, Revit will first prompt you to choose the category of the schedule that you want to make. Uh, in this case, we'll make a window schedule. Uh, so I'll scroll down and choose Windows and click OK. Now under Schedule Properties, this is where you start adding the um, information to the columns of your schedule. Um, keeping it really simple, um, I'll just add the type mark by um, finding it in the list, um, clicking it, and click Add. Um, and then I'll add the rough width and height um, also. Uh, once items have been added uh, to the schedule fields, uh, you can move, change their order that they appear um, as columns by choosing the item, um, and you can click up, move up, click move down, or click to remove it from the list. Um, scrolling through the different tabs of the schedule properties, you can start to change uh, different ways it's sorted, grouped, and filtered. Um, a lot of these have been covered in the drawing list video since it's basically the same process. Um, once you have uh, all the information set up the way you want for your schedule, you can click OK, um, and Revit will open up the new schedule in a new window. Uh, you can see here for this project, um, the different uh, windows um, will appear in the list with their type mark and um, all their dimensions. Um, you can click in the fields uh, individually, and actually if you change it um, here, it will change the individual window um, in the model. Um, uh, once you hit uh, return, uh, Revit will warn you um, that this will happen. You can change the name of the window schedule um, by double clicking it um, directly in this view. And once you do that, um, you can see in the browser window to the left um, that it actually updates uh, this changed name in the Schedules and Quantities category of the window browser here. Uh, next, to place the uh, new schedule on a sheet, um, you just drag it onto a sheet like any other view. Uh, in this case, I'll create a new sheet, uh, an opening, an opening schedule sheet. By going to View, New, Sheet, choosing an appropriate title block, and click OK. You can come in here and give it the correct name. And a title. Um, once I've got the sheet set up the way I want, uh, I can find the new schedule in the browser window, click on it, um, while holding down, uh, drag it over the sheet in place. You can change the appearance of the schedule by dragging these handles to widen and narrow the columns. Um, clicking on the break icon will split the legend um, into as many columns as you need. And you can always rejoin this again um, by grabbing the second one um, with the control arrow in the middle and dragging it over the original. And that will rejoin it. Finally, if there are any uh, changes uh, that you need to make to the appearance um, of the schedule, you can always um, edit it by right-clicking on it and choose Edit Schedule. This will bring you back into the original schedule window. Um, and if you right-click in gray space and click View Properties, um, you can see at the bottom of the Element Properties windows that there are the different areas of Element Properties that you can then click on and it brings you into this original schedule properties window which you can um, change and edit again. Um, looking at the, at the top um, you'll, you'll find all the tabs um, for creating setting up filters and fields and things like that and click OK.